everybody. Good morning. This is Wake Up Your Badass. I'm Jake from jakeandjoy.com and today we're going to be talking about mindset and how mindset can actually trump skill set. So super excited about this episode. Um, you know, we've been really heavy on the on the skill set and tactics and, and all that in the last few weeks, and that's really important. Like we do need we do need to learn some different skills and some different uh, tactics and ways of doing business. But none of that really matters as much if you don't have your mind right. You can only get so far with just just skill set without bringing the mindset. So let me bring on my mama here. Let's see if I can. We'll go ahead and get started. Happy Wednesday. It's me. It's you. Hi. It's you. Hi. 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 Hi, everybody. If you are joining us, we're so excited that you're joining us. I have a, a, a question for you. Um, if you join us because you get our emails, um, g- give me a um, give me a, a one. In the, I gotta keep track of these numbers here. Give me a one in the box below. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kat. <laughs> Kate and Kat, hi. Um, if you are uh, watching these, these videos because you get an email from us that reminds you, will you give us a one in the box below? Hey, Brandy, thanks for joining us. Um, so I'm Joy from jakeandjoy.com, and Jake probably already told you what we're going to be talking about today. We're really excited, um, especially because we're going into the time of year where Jake and I really, really, really started diving deep into online marketing. We had, had we'd hired some people before to help us. And last year, about Thanksgiving time, um, Jake discovered the organization that we work with now uh, that many of you we've shared with uh, um, the EMP stuff that we do. And uh, if you want more information about that, give us a two in the comments box below and we'll send that to you. But we really started to dive deep and, and we learned a lot of skills and we've been teaching you a lot of the skills that we've learned. But we also know, and we've been learning from them as well as other mentors in our life, we've been learning about how much mindset trumps skill set. If you have the right mindset, you can learn the skill set. So the last six weeks, we went deep into social media training. And if you didn't do all of the exercises that we gave you, you might want to go back and watch all the live videos that we did over the last um, about six weeks, how to set up your fan page, how to set up your personal page, you know, how to use it, how to start thinking about um, doing a likes campaign, et cetera. So if you haven't done those assignments, you really are going to want to go back and do that. But today, today, we're going to go into probably our favorite topic. And Jake, I really want you to share a little bit about how when you were, um, when Jake was a freshman in high school, she was the starting point guard on her high school basketball team. And it was a huge, she thought it was going to be really exciting. And there were lots of exciting parts about it. But Jake, tell us a little bit about mindset and sports. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for joining us. Do I have an echo? Do I have an echo? Do you? Do you? Echo again, yeah. Echo again, yeah. Hmm. Kat, if you're still watching, if you could um, type in the comment box if you're hearing an echo when Jake talks. Try it, Jake. Yeah. I, I can hear I, it. I can hear it. Okay. Well, maybe I'll just tell the story. Okay. Should I just tell the story? Yeah, I'm just going to be a yeah, spectator today. Okay, well, you can chime in a little bit. Hey, why don't you look up a joke to tell? You can be the joke teller today. I can't. My, 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 my phone. I can't look at it. Don't you have an iPad or a computer? There's an echo. There's an echo. Yeah, but you have, a, you have an iPad and a computer. All of those things, you can look those up. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So when Jake was a freshman in high school and also in college, she ended up being the starting point guard on both of those teams. And that's being the being a point the starting point guard at any age in life is really, really, really a challenge. You are basically, if you don't know anything about about basketball, you are basically the quarterback. You are the you're the coach on the floor. You're the one who has to, to tell everybody where to go. You got to boss people around, and you and these are like friends of yours. You know, you want them to like you. And also, you're the one that has to deal with the referees most of the time, unless you're Shaq, um, who is not a point guard, who is always dealing with the referees, or Vladi Divac as well. But usually it's the point guard that's interacting with the referees. And Jake was really, really fast. In fact, she owns the steal record in California for high school steals. So she was always getting calls on, on her because a lot of the refs didn't believe that she could be as fast as she was. And so as this freshman, she would get called for fouls that she didn't think were fouls. A lot of people didn't think were fouls. And it would make her so mad. It would make her so mad that she couldn't even stay in the game. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for joining us. Like, like really, I remember one game, Jake, where you ran off the court and into the bathroom because you were, like, you were just, like, you were going to, like, just explode, explode. 
And so we hired a, a mindset coach to work with her. And uh, this was a guy that worked at the U, at UC Davis, and, and uh, they actually had a sports psychologist. And Jake started to learn and to build this, this toolbox of skills that, that she could use to manage. She had these crazy skills on the floor, right? And like by now, if you guys have been following us for a while, hopefully you've got some crazy skills. But if your mind is not right, and when I say mind, I mean everything. Like I mean your health. I mean like how you're taking care of yourself. I mean all of that. Like if, if, if that is not happening, it doesn't matter how many skills you have. It, it does not matter because you'll be like Jake running off the floor into the bathroom, right? So <laughs> you'll be so mad or you'll be so sad or you'll be so whatever, so lethargic, whatever. It will take you out of the game. So I'd love to have a three in the comments box below if you think you have a pretty good handle on mindset because this is something that, um, you know, I've been in this business now for 23 and a half years. Um, I'm going, uh, this, is, this month is my half, it's when I started on the product that our company sells and then um, about six months later, nine months later, I started in the business. So I always think of this as my, my, my halfway mark, my 20, so this is 23 and a half years of experience. And what I've found is that the more, the more, the more, the more you can put into this vessel that we're in, the, our, our brains, our bodies, our hearts, the more attention we can put on that, the more we're going to succeed and learn the skill set. Hi, Viv. Thanks for joining us. So we are constantly doing courses. The stuff that we've done with EMP has been invaluable. We go away um, three times a year to get trained by some amazing people. Brandy, if you're still on, you're one of them. Thanks so much for being a mentor to us. We just really appreciate you, Brandy. And uh, um, so we've learned a lot about not just skills, but also mindset. But we've also, like, I've been doing landmarks since I was 26 years old. I've had therapy. I've done Course in Miracles. I mean, you name it. I, I am a sponge for this kind of stuff. So guess what? We found something new that we are so excited about. We can't even stand it. And we're going to take you on the journey with us. Hi, Tara. Thanks for joining us. We're going to take you on the journey that we're going to be going on over these next probably six weeks again, because we gave you six weeks of skill set. And you can go back and watch the live videos if you didn't get those. If you're not on our mailing list, you can get on our mailing list. Just comment in the box below or send us a private message and we'll get you added to our mailing list. We send these out. Um, we send out a couple emails a week with some training and also with the, the recordings. So, um, so I wish you could talk, Jake, because you're so excited about this. When I started to listen to this book, I bought it first on Audible. Uh, my business mentor, one of my business mentors, um, turned me on to this book. And you know, she's always coming up with something new. So I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one more thing. Um, you know, it's, it's just going to like overwhelm me. And it's going to be all these, these habits that I have to take on. And it's going to be like how to cram more into your day and how to work harder and all of that stuff. And I was just like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So I started listening to the Audible. And I was just like, oh, my God, this is amazing. My daughter, ha this is my daughter. She's got to hear this. So I bought it on Audible. I bought it on Kindle, and I bought the hard, hard copy. Can you read that backwards? High Performance Habits by Brendan Burchard. Now, I'm not making any money off of Brendan's stuff. Yeah, Viv, um, you can give us our, your email in a private comment, and we'll get you on the, on the email list, okay? Um, so anyway, uh, uh, this book is just, it, it's not just a book. It, he has a whole website and all this stuff, a lot of free stuff, a lot of free stuff. You, in fact, you can get the book for free just by paying for the shipping. But then he has, which I'm so excited about, and Jake, I'm not even going to open this to show you, but I got mine in the mail. This is a planner, and I am super stoked. If you don't use a paper planner, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do, because um, if you haven't watched Hi, Suzanne. If you have not watched um, my training on an organized mind, uh, I highly recommend that. <laughs> Here I am tweeting my own home. But you can go to YouTube and click, click Joy Kelly Organized Mind. And it's a, third, it's a 15 to 20 minute synopsis of um, a, an incredible book called The Organized Mind and how our brain actually remembers stuff better when we put it down on paper. Um, it's, it's that we, we um, how our brains have evolved is it's kind of like when you do a remodel and you just keep adding on that's how our brains are so we've got like you know our our, our base of our of our brain all the way up to the cortex the neocortex which is you know like where all the critical thinking happens but there's all like add-ons so like our ancestors they remembered where stuff was in space in in the real world like where they got fish or where the where the scary lion was they remembered physically where that stuff was and we haven't changed from that we remember where stuff is on paper 
So when you use a, a planner, I don't care if I, I've been using, my dad used to use one of those um, stenographer pads and I still use this. <laughs> this is, this is what I've been doing. <laughs> this is my planner. And I know a lot of us have converted to going online and that's fabulous. It's great. It's a great way to communicate with other people. I need to get better at that myself. It's one of the skill sets that I want to learn, but putting it down on paper has it has it in your brain and you will remember notes better when you actually write them out that's why like i have an ipad now and i have a pen that goes with it so i can write notes on my ipad so, I'm, so it's, it's like physically writing it and they physically live somewhere so get a paper planner of some kind whether it's a notebook or whatever it is but we are going to be sharing um some of the habits that we're learning out of the, um, and we've been teaching you some of these actually. It was kind of cool that a lot of the habits that he teaches, we do. It's just that we don't do them all the time. And it's not a matter of, it's not a matter of like doing more. Like these, these things are not a matter of doing more. There's st stuff you're already doing. Like you're already thinking your thoughts, right? You're constantly thinking thoughts. You're constantly making decisions. And it's just training your brain to make the right decisions. So we're going to be going deep into this. He has an assessment that you can take for free if you go to his website, Brandon, BrendanBurchard.com. Um, you can go to his website and, or maybe it's um, High Performance Habits. Yeah, it's HighPerformanceHabits.com. You can take his, his assessment for free. He wants to get you into his funnel. He's a master at funnels. You're going you're gonna to see that. You don't have to buy his stuff. He sends you free stuff all the time. I did buy his book. I did buy his planners. I am buying stuff from him. But, of course, he wants to, you know, have you do the big buy. The, the, and I, I don't know if that's necessarily necessary, which leads me to my final point, which is if you want this kind of training, this kind of mentorship, Hey, Jennifer, you just did the assessment. Cool. Um, so what was your score? Can you type it in? Type it in the bottom if you can um, in the comments. But uh, if you want this kind of mentorship, if you want this kind of leadership, um, you know, teaching you this kind of stuff on a regular basis, you want to find a mentor in, if you're in network marketing, in your network marketing company. So if you don't have that within the company that you're working for right now, you might want to look for a different company in addition to what you're doing. Like we, we talk to people all the time who are doing maybe some other product. They're doing a skincare product, but they want to do a wellness product with us. Or maybe they're doing a wellness product and they like our gardening product and they want to work with us. So if you're somebody that wants to work with us, you'd like to be mentored by us, Jake is going to put a link to a work with us survey. It's up above. So you can see if we are a good fit. If our company's a good fit, if we're a good fit for you, if you're a good fit for us, and if we all might benefit by working together. I know some of you who are listening today are on our team, and if you want to comment in the comment section about Suzanne, like what's, what's it been like to be mentored by Jake and I? Um, I'd love to, is it Jake and I, Jake and me, me Jake and me, it's Jake and me. Um, if you, <laughs> what it's like to be mentored by Jake and me, put that in the comments box below, and you can fill out the survey and find out if, if we are a good match for each other and we can hop on a, a Zoom uh, chat together and figure out if this is, uh, Suzanne says she totally recommends us rock stars. That's awesome. So um, we're going to be diving deep into these habits, whether you get the book or not, we're going to be going over them. Um, high performance habits, I wish you could chime in because I know that it's just, it's just really, 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 um, I'll tell you, one, one of the things that he has you do is to take more, to, to take care of yourself better. And if, if that's all you did was just take care of yourself better, if that's the only thing that you got out of all of this, um, that would be a really positive thing. So we're going to start in on this. Ne um, next week we'll be covering the first chapter that he has, which is about how to um, – the first chapter is about getting clarity, getting clarity about what, you, about what you're up to and, and who you are in life and all of that. And we're going to go into that next week, and we'll go through the habits. He says there's six habits. So in the next six weeks, we'll go over those six habits, and uh, we're really excited. So we're like, once again, I'm not pitching um, his stuff. It's just that I, um, I think that they're really, I think that they're, they're just really great, great, great tools in here. So did you find a joke? Did you find a joke? Shoot. I don't have a joke. That's okay. I don't have a joke. I need a joke. I need a joke. Oh, well. Next week, I'll come up with a joke. I was not prepared today. I apologize. So that's it for us. We're Jake and Joy from jakeandjoy.com. We are going to dive deep into the mindset habits of high performers over the next six weeks, and we can't wait to share it with you. We've got lots of exciting stuff com coming up, and if you want to work with us, just click on the link above, fill out the survey, and we'll be in touch. Have a fabulous Wednesday, you badasses. Bye.